they're pretty much dead. Yo ho ho sha! What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm here today with a little bit different kind of a deck profile, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But before we get into that, a couple things. One, the jerseys came in, so if you got a jersey, you're gonna be getting it. They came out amazing. I'm super psyched about them. Ready for Nats. Second announcement: as some of you might know, I have an affiliate ship with your playmat. If you want to get 10% off on any sleeves, you can use the link in the description below. But I noticed that Dragon Shield also made custom sleeves, and a friend of mine picked up some Dragon Shield sleeves and he really liked them and i looked at dragon shield and i was like i was like wow you can get 100 sleeves for a lot less than your playmat sleeve so i got myself some dragon shield sleeves and i have a bunch of your playmat sleeves that they've sent me to promote their product this is a dragon sleeve dragon shield sleeve and they're great they don't peel they work really well they're one of the best sleeves on the market and this is a your playmat sleeve uh it's a little closer to the border the they don't peel either and uh the print quality on both of them is really good i don't think that there's that much of a difference the your playmat sleeves are a tiny bit smaller so they're a little bit more of a perfect fit than the dragon shield sleeve the place where these sleeves differ is in the shuffle feel the dragon shield sleeves feel great but this little corner catches when you shuffle and becomes very annoying when you shuffle the your playmat sleeves do not have that corner and these sleeves do have the best shuffle feel out of any sleeves that i've ever bought ever before so what i would recommend is if you have a big event and you want to have some really nice sleeves with an awesome shuffle feel for it get yourself some your playmat sleeves you can use my link in the description below save yourself 10 percent your playmat sleeves are the best sleeves i did the research i don't want to just plug a sleeve because it helps me out i want you guys to know what's really going on with these sleeves dragon shield you can get cheaper if you want art sleeves but your playmat sleeves are the best in my opinion and i ordered a bunch of them for myself for nats but that's it for the sleeve plug on this video i am going to be using the sleeves that i've used for a really long time i use kmc hyper mat over sleeves with inner sleeves from fire emblem ciphers from japan if this is your guys first time here and you want to see dragon ball super content on a weekly basis make sure to smush that subscription button if you're a returning member of the joe crew i hope you got one of these jerseys because they're super fly and if you didn't welcome back anyway there'll be plenty of other joe crew merch from time to time just make sure to be up on the facebook group and all that good stuff now let's get into this video so this deck is soul striker without the pirate package uh the pirate package became really boring to me um it was really really cool the first time i saw it frisco was the first time guy i saw running it i think it was an amazing idea and then it just kind of became like the blue dot deck in every single deck so i wanted to build something without bojack um and the galactic buster engine and funny enough it got banned so um i've been playing this deck for a little while just more for fun but it does some pretty cool stuff um if you guys are familiar with this leader basically on this side you're going to draw a card when you awaken you draw two cards and this side when you swing you draw a card and untap two energy but for this uh deck profile I am going to do something a little different. Instead of just going through the deck, I'm also going to go through a play of the deck just to show how the deck plays out. But first, I am going to go through the list. I'm running one of this, man. He's just a great card to find your unison. If you have him in your opening hand, you play him turn one. He's just a turn one play. You search top five cards and you can grab a blue sand uh, with an energy cost of three or less or a blue unison with a specified cost of three among them and add them to your deck. So he grabs one of your or a couple of your negates and he'll really grab your unison as well you're going for i'm playing four baby unison and the reason why baby unison is we'll get there but the three energy unison is your alternate awakening condition so you need to have as many three energy unisons as possible i was doing a four two split with baby and tapion but there's other stuff in the deck and the deck draws a lot so you really end up seeing this guy usually and uh he's better for the early engine so in the early engine i'm running three of this guy this is the calamity challenger this deck this card is awesome it's just a pay one mana play a four cost that has blocker has deflect so he's always going to come out and you draw a card when he plays so he replaces himself you do have to have three or more energy in order to play him but by that time that's where you're going to be going into your bigger plays so the second skill doesn't really do anything he's basically just a four energy blocker that plays for one energy so if you have this guy out you can pay one energy and return him to your hand with sun goku path to the infinite and this becomes an evolved target for one of the win conditions for the deck but 
this isn't always the route you want to go it just like if it lines up early enough on it's pretty fun to do another option to play the uh path to the infinite is uh the tapion calamity challenger this card's really good it's good especially with dealing with unisons um it doesn't have deflect so it can get countered whereas the other four drop does have deflect so it's probably not going to get countered this card also uh play draws you a card when you play it but you need to have a unison in play in order to play it so he doesn't see play quite as much he's really more like if you need to just knock some markers off a unison or if you want to take somebody from five to three he's a pretty good play for that now the target to play on path to the infinite is ultra instinct sign and this card's really good it it's cheeky and you can just negate it and end its thing but basically when he comes out he returns all of your opponent's battle cards to their hand and he gets around barrier because he doesn't say choose so you basically evolve him for two energy which is really efficient because your leader untaps two energy onto path to the infinite and then you just play him out return your opponent's hand and then swing with him and if they don't have a negate and they're at three life they're dead because they can't combo in battles with this card now baby golden avenger is the reason why we're running the baby unison because if you do get the baby unison to five markers you can minus five before you do the ultra instinct sign chain and then if you have golden avenger in your hand when they negate your sign attack you can counter counter with baby golden avenger and then they're just kind of totally out of luck so if you can line that play up on turn if you can line that play up on turn four and they're at three life it's pretty much a guaranteed ko but so if they don't if they don't go after your unison immediately um you can punish them and really knock some life off if things don't go that route um you can get your boo unison out once you have four energy and boo unison just basically stabilizes the game there's not many things that can deal with this outside of Kai. Um, Blue Unison's just really, really good. Really strong Unison. A safe four energy play, especially now that Zamasu the Eliminator is not going to be hitting it. Um, and just a really strong Unison. This is the turn five Unison. I think this Unison is amazing. And basically, you pay five energy for him. And once you play him, the next turn, your opponent can only attack with battle cards if they bottom deck something greater than two energy. And his minus two is send your opponent's board back to their hand, ignoring barrier. So he has a really strong minus effect to clear their board and then they have to rebuild their board in order to swing with things so he's almost like a built-in floodgate for the following turn when he stalls out that turn if you are able to pressure their unison you can slam down this guy the super warrior a lot of people complain about this card because it doesn't have like deflect and it's six energy which is a lot but in this deck you're and in this format you're often getting to six energy and if you play him for six energy and you ramp four more energy that puts you at 10 energy and if you have a bean and you swing with your leader that's back to seven energy so you can actually play this guy and turning the tides in the same turn so basically if you're able to return your opponent's hand back to their hand if you're able to return your opponent's board back to their hand then you slam this guy down and turning the tides basically sends their whole hand to their deck so if you're able to sequence that play there isn't really much they can do to get out of that and it's pretty strong um you know really the only answer to him is the jiren counterplay that stops you from sending cards back to your opponent's hand but they have to have two energy up for that and if they have it they have it but that's usually something they'll bring in uh turn game two and then for like the standard stuff uh for god ceiling just amazing card you're usually going to have a unison in play in this deck so having four out is i think good i'm playing four of the vegeta super combos because you just want to see as much of your deck as possible and since the galactic buster engine isn't in here you're not really like playing stuff out of your energy you don't really need zeno for that so four vegetas is really good um four bean untapping is huge in this list so you want to be able to untap tap as effectively as possible so for these boys is essential two apes just uh early draw if you don't really have a turn two play and you see this in your hand you can just dump it to block an attack and then tap two and draw two three heroic prospect um really good negate probably not going to be live until turn three and you can also grab him off salmon so really really strong floodgate three dimension magic uh just nice to untap energy defensively and one of the reasons why i'm running dimension magic is actually because i'm running this guy so if you untap energy energy for him when you negate with him you can grab a unison out of your drop so if they kill your five drop goku protector of earth and you have energy open or one energy open and you dimension magic um you can then negate for two energy and grab him back from the drop or grab a baby unison or grab a boo unison um this negate is really strong i don't know why people don't use it uh two ultra instinct kamehameha just a great card to just push that combo power and if you need you know that you need an extra draw offensively it gives you 15k plus 
plus a draw and it also untaps defensively and gives you 15k secret id just because you need to clear boards in this uh, format especially with stuff like gogeta xeno that have the one drops that kind of directly punish this deck for everything you need to be able to get rid of those so this is a really good option to kind of clear those off the field one double strike because you need one in every deck it's just an alternate win condition and the negate I'm playing is Baby Hatch Sand Destroyer. And then, of course, uh, one Chilled Army Reinforcement. This is really great if you're at five life just to go from five to four to get yourself into super combo range because people often try and double strike you from five to four. So if you think that's going to happen and you're at five, it's a nice idea to use this negate to create a blocker and kind of stall your turn a little bit more and get you into super combo range. All right, so that's the deck. I'm going to do a run through so you guys can see kind of how the deck plays just to give you an idea. Um, so this is basically going to represent my opponent's life here there's eight life there just to kind of keep track and play through to get an idea um, obviously this is not how a real game would go but just kind of shows you how the deck plays so i just shuffled i'll cut my own deck here start the game draw six and i'll just play it open hand here one two three four five six so really we want a unison more than anything um this is a fine turn to play in case we don't see anything just to draw so I'd probably just keep that and send the rest back. Draw my hand back to six. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then we're gonna have eight life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'll just put my life right over here. And next thing I would do is roll a dice. I always imagine I'm rolling for my opponent first. So my opponent rolls a two and I roll a two. So my opponent rolls a five and I roll a one. So my opponent's gonna go be going first. Uh, they charge pass, which means that I would be drawing at the beginning of my turn. So I would draw a card there. I drew a Calamity Challenger. Now, uh, a lot of these cards like are useful, but I'm not gonna need them till later. The one that I have the most of that I'm not gonna need is Calamity Challenger. So I'm gonna charge my Calamity Challenger because I only have two Boon Unison and one Protector of Earth, and I know I'm gonna need those most likely. Um, and then I would swing at their leader and draw. And since it's early game, they're probably not going to defend that. So I would just take that life and put it over here to simulate the gameplay. Um, at this point, I would pass turn and let them attack. Uh, at this point, they would have two energy. They would probably swing with their leader and I would use this ape to combo off to protect my life. And then they may use something with their two energy and say they swing with that. So I'll take that one hit if they were to hit me with that. Um, now I would draw for my turn and now I'm gonna be charging. So my options to charge, I think probably the best thing to charge here would be a Senzu Bean um, because I have four of them in my deck and I'm not gonna be using them anytime soon. Um, so the first thing I would do is I would just use the ape and draw two cards um got a lot of super combos so that's great still haven't seen a unison which would be great to see a three energy unison but that's one of the risks of only running four then i would swing at their leader um draw a card that goes to hand it's likely that they would just take this hit too so i'm going to say that they take this hit and then i would pass turn at this point turn three i don't have any energy open they have three energy and they may be doing stuff so i imagine like i would probably take two hits and they probably wouldn't want to hit me for the fifth because they wouldn't want to put me in awakening range so i would leave that fifth life there even if they had the power to go for it um and then i would start my turn here so draw for turn still no unison so i'm not going to be able to awaken here and these trunks counterplays aren't really useful in my hand right now though they will be on the next turn because boo unison is going to be live so i would probably charge this path to the infinite because i really only need one so i would charge that there at this point i would just go ahead and swing at their leader and draw and there's my unison so you know what just for the sake of argument i'm gonna to keep this unison in my hand and put this on the top of my deck just so you guys can see the more ideal play so before i attack i would play this for three energy and when i play that for three energy it's going to come out with three markers on it and i'm going to get to awaken so i would awaken which allows me to draw two more cards um so i'd see those anyway and didn't shuffle this very well then i would plus two on my unison to draw another card and then i would attack their leader and untap two energy and draw a card um, by this point they probably have some negate or something so i'll say that damage doesn't go through uh, and then i would swing with my unison at their leader and we'll say that that attack goes through so they're at five and they may want to get into awakening range also 
Um, at this point, there isn't really anything to play in my hand um, for those two energy. So I would just leave the energy open to defend. So this time my opponent's gonna have uh, energy or they're gonna have four energy. And when they attack, this is a great time to use the chilled army reinforcement. So I would negate with this chilled army reinforcement on their first attack and uh, create a blocker token. And I would actually take the life for that because I have so many super combos that I wanna go into super combo range. Um, and then I, if they were to attack again, I would probably combo out of that. So let's say that they, or they do a big attack, I would block that. And then maybe on the next attack, I would super combo and I probably bottom deck a, a, well, maybe not that unison, probably bottom deck. Yeah, one of these baby unisons. And then you get to draw two cards with that super combo. It's really good. At this point, if they were to attack my unison, I would, I would negate, I would try and protect my unison in as much as possible um, but they would pro let's say they would pass here so i would draw for turn untap my energy choose something in my hand to charge in my energy not going to need two turning the tide so i'll put one of those in my energy if my unison didn't get hit this would be an opportunity to minus five to go into the chain but i don't actually have the chain in my hand um just so you guys can see how it works i'm gonna put this in my energy since i had it in my opening hand and since i have another one i'm just gonna swap this out with this guy in here just so you guys can see how this plays out so at this point basically you would pay one energy play him for one energy he allows you to draw um, when you do that then you can pay another energy you'd want to get their life down so you ideally you want to get them to three so if you can swing um, with him and knock a life off that would be ideal and then if you could swing with your baby unison and knock another life off that would be the kind of best case scenario and then you can pay one energy and swap him out for him and that gives you your evolve target at which point you can minus five on your unison just to, in case um, he would go to the drop area and then you can pay two energy and evolve your ultra instinct sign goku onto your goku uh, you have to drop a card in order to do that so i'd probably drop one of these boo unisons and then you can swing with him and if they do have a negate at this point you can use the baby ape to counter counter from your boo unison skill and you would just to choose two cards and put them in your drop area so probably a uh, baby and a dimension magic or something um he comes in he bottom decks a card ignoring barrier and at this point they're at three life and this would probably just knock all the life off but if they did have an answer an answer would be something that has an activate battle that removes skills or if they have like if they had the uh, brainwashed that would get around this uh, other kinds of activate battles like uh, ultra instincts goku's kamehameha or earth cells are destroying destroying kamehameha um or god strike beerus things like that that remove skills or like our activate battles those would get around this and then you would try and triple strike them with this but saying neither of those worked you would have a double striker on your leader which is really good so you would swing with your leader get two energy back um, and that could also be an option to take them from five to three if you minus on your baby you use your leader to get that double strike in um you would untap two energy and and swing with leader and they would have to get out around that so let's say that like none of this worked and let's say like they somehow killed these cards and they went into your drop area uh on the following turn you have two energy up you could still god sealing something off of the lingering baby effect so i would probably like god sealing something and drop like maybe drop the calamity challenger and the ape or something like that um and if you're able to live through this turn let's say like we took one life we would draw a card for our next turn and then on our turn now charge something probably charge uh another bean i guess and um at this point we want to kind of get rid of their board if they rebuilt a board so you just play uh protector of earth uh, he comes out with five markers and then you minus two and send their board back to their hand at which point you can then swing with your leader which allows you to get some energy back up and draw a card then you could just to like play more defensively you could pay one to play another calamity challenger which also allows you to draw that leaves us an energy up for 
or defense. We don't really have any cards to defend, but it's usually a good idea to leave an energy up defensively just to let your opponent think you have some sort of defense in your hand. At that point, if they figured out how to kill this somehow, like it would be hard because they have their, their they're really only gonna have their leader swing. It's gonna be hard for them to rebuild a board and attack again since he stops the card. He's like the floodgate for that turn. So we'll say like we lost one life somehow or something and um, then we draw for our turn and charge this baby so we're at six energy now you'd want to like look for some cards here really you want to get the the vegeta would be the optimal play on this turn so i'm going to tap two energy and play an ape and i would draw two cards just to show how the deck works i'm going to grab like the two ideal cards that we get from this and that would be a bean and a vegeta rise of the unison warrior um so if we get these two cards in our hand basically what we could do is off that ape we then attack untap two energy and draw and um once you have six energy you can slam this guy down for six and what he does is he allows you to look at the top four cards of your deck and you can put any of number of them in your hand or in your energy uh this one's red they have to be blue so we're gonna pretend that we got right, another blue one so i'm just gonna go ahead and put these all in my energy oh, i guess we would need two beans here because i already swung with my leader because of the ape well you guys get the idea if i hadn't aped then i would have two energy up and i'll just put two cards back didn't have the cards that i want but just to show how the deck works i'm going to just like take these two cards and put these back on the bottom of the deck and pretend that i had all the ideal cards in my hand so if you had played vegeta warrior for six then you can ramp four potentially untap two with your leader puts you at six and then you just swing with this guy because he untaps at the end of the turn and you be in an energy back up and if you're at seven now um you can and play down turning the tides and if you play turning the tides and you have a board like this like you're probably not gonna lose uh, especially if you if they hadn't hit your unison and you minus two on your unison again and you just send their board back to their hand again and then play turning the tides like they're pretty much dead um so that kind of i move through the plays a little differently that's not exactly how it would work ideally you know you'd have your secret rare and see the other cards that you needed didn't really get my unison on time but hopefully that gives you guys an idea of like how the deck plays and how some of the interactions go um i recommend trying this out with your decks like if you want to figure out how a deck works lay it out and just test it against life and kind of imagine what your opponent will be doing um ideal plays for them how your life would be getting hit stuff like that obviously you're going to be optimizing for yourself but it at least gives you a chance to like play through the cards see how the cards play and imagine what the interactions are on your side and then that way when you play somebody you're a little bit more prepared to deal with the interactions on their side i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is if you if you like this sort of deck profile i would be happy to do this with other decks there's a lot of decks i've been working on i'm preparing for nationals i've been grinding really really hard that's why i haven't put out as much content um i'm working on my deck for nats hoping that the next set drops in time and i'm really excited for the new stuff in that set to pump up the deck that i'm going to be playing i probably won't do any content on that deck until after nats hopefully if i do well with it would be awesome uh but i want to keep it on the hush and eventually i will talk about that deck but i'd love to show you guys some of the other decks i did if this is an enjoyable kind of format to show how a deck works let me know in the comments shoot me a message i'd be happy to talk about it thanks for coming by and watching i appreciate your guys time and checking out these dragon ball super card game videos i am a dentist i can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip so my dental tooth tip today would be get yourself a power brush i know i've said this before but power toothbrushes make a world of difference the sonicare protective clean is the one that i recommend more than any others they're relatively cheap you can pick them up on amazon and make sure you're using that for two minutes change the head every three months and make sure you're using the right technique so look up a video on how to use a sonicare toothbrush properly it will make leagues of difference in your oral hygiene routine. Thank you guys for coming by. I'm Joku DMD, and I will see you next time. Other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Sideways.